Hi all, today we'll see about how we can lock and unlock records in flows. So we have this flow core action called as lock record where we can lock and unlock the record. So it has three input values. One is the action, it can be lock or unlock and the record ID, the ID which need to be locked, the record ID which need to be locked or unlocked and allowed ID, who can edit the lockable record. So it can, it can be user, group or queue. So let's consider one example. I have this account record and as a system admin user, I just logged in as a system admin user, I can edit this account record. You can see I can edit this. But I logged in as other user who is not a system admin and he is also able to edit this record. So for the demo purpose, what we're gonna do here is, so we're gonna log that record so that only the system admin user can edit it. So if I if I am able to edit the record as a non-system admin user, it should throw me the error saying that the record is locked. So for that, we're going to create a new screen flow. So I'll go back to setup and I'm going to create a new screen flow here. Click on new flow. Select start from scratch. I'm going to select screen flow. So I'll just drag a screen element here. So I'll name it as from this name. I'm gonna drag a text component into text. I'll name it as account ID. So here I need to enter the account ID, which I'm. I just want to lock it. I'll just mark it as required, and I'm gonna click then. So here I'm gonna select the action element and here I'm gonna search for log record action. You can see log record here and I'll name it as log account record. So in the screen element, we're gonna enter the account ID which need to be logged. I'm gonna pass the entered account ID to this log action. So here you can see action is one of the input values and you can see these are the two valid values for the action lock and unlock. Here I'm gonna select lock here and the record ID, uh, which record ID you want to lock. So I'm going to select the account ID which has been entered here and allowed ID. You can see allowed ID. So this is an optional input value. So here you can see the ID of a user group queue or user role record that represent who can edit the record while it's locked. So for now, locked record can only be edited by system admin. I'll just keep it as not included. If you want uh, a particular group uh, if you want to give access for a particular group who want to edit the log code record, you can give the user ID here or the group ID. Now I'm going to click on save. I'll just name this as demo. I'll click on save. I'll activate this flow and I'll click on debug. So now I'm gonna, this is the account record ID. I just want to lock. I'm gonna select the account ID here. I'll pass it as an input. In the input box, I'm gonna give this account ID and I'll click on next. Now the record is logged. So if you see here, I just logged in as the non-system admin user who was having an edit access before locking the record. But if I try to edit this record now, you can see this message this record is locked if you need to edit please contact your admin and as a system admin user now this is uh, logged in as a system admin user i can edit this record you can see i can save it so similarly we can also unlock the record so for unlock the record uh, as you can see who can unlock the record a system admin the user who locked a record or someone who's an allowed user for the lockout record can unlock the record. If anyone tries to unlock the record, they'll be getting this error, insufficient access or read only. So how we can unlock? Simply what I'm gonna do here is, so inside this action, I'm gonna change lock with unlock. So you have this action. And click on save us. Activate it. I'm gonna copy the same ID and I just want to unlock the same account ID. So I'll just copy this account ID and I'll go back to this flow. Click on debug and I'm gonna enter the account ID here. Click on next. 
now if I go back to this user again and now I'm going to try to edit this record now you can see there is no error thanks for watching